فَجَعَلْنَاهُمْ سَلَفًا وَمَثَلًا لِلْآخِرِينَ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Continuing into the uh, book of Al-Riqaq in Sahih Al-Bukhari the softening of the hearts or the tendering of the hearts uh, the chapter the chapter is the example of the life of this world compared to that of the hereafter. قال الله تعالى الله سبحانه وتعالى the Most High said in Surah 57 verse 20 إنما الحياة الدنيا لعب ولهو وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد كمثل غيث أعجب الكفار نباته ثم يهيج فطراه مصفرا ثم يكون حطاما وفي الآخرة عذاب شديد ومغفرة من الله ورضوان وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور Know that the life of this world is only play and amusement Pump and mutual boosting Among you And rivalry and respect of wealth and children as the likeness of vegetation after rain thereof the growth is pleasing to the tiller afterwards it dries up and you see it turning yellow then it becomes straw but in the hereafter, there is a severe torment for the disbelievers and the evildoers. There is, and there is forgiveness from Allah and His good pleasure for the believers, the good doers. Whereas the life of this world is only a deceiving, a deceiving enjoyment. The explanation of these verses. This is the title which uh, Al Imam Al Bukhari, rahimahullah, put for this chapter under this book. In these verses, Allah the Most High makes it clear that the life of this world is only play and amu amusement, uh, physically and also amusement and play of the heart, and adornment on, in the apparent, and um, boastful uh, pride in, in, uh, in the tongue, in the saying, each one uh, boosts uh, and uh, is proud of himself <coughs> when it comes to others he thinks himself better and higher in status and in saying meaning my opinion my saying also regarding wealth and children rivalry like saying I have more than you in wealth and in children and stronger in respect of men the example of this world as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described it here as that of the likeness of it is like of vegetation after rain أعجب الكفار It amused and amazed the kuffar. Here the term al-kuffar, it is said that this refers to the kafirs, to the disbelievers, those who disbelieve in Allah, meaning that uh, the only thing which they like of this life is like these uh, appearances and this joy and, and the play and amusement and, and on the other hand, it is said that this refers to the tiller. 
the growth is pleasing to the tiller. Then afterwards, it, after it was moist and active, and it, it dries up, and then it turns yellow, and you see that, and we see this in front of our eyes, then it becomes a straw. broken by hands and by feet. This is the likeness of this life. It goes up and then it goes away. And it it is either that it will entirely leave us or we leave it. There is no other alternative. Allah Ta'ala in this verse وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ وَمَغْفِرَةٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانٌ Severe torment for those who preferred this life which is play and amusement and boosting etc. preferred it over seeking the pleasure of Allah and seeking the hereafter over this life seeking the hereafter They make their concern focused upon this life, preferring it over the hereafter, and preferring it over seeking the ridwan, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah has stated in Surah, in Surah 87, uh, 16, 17, بَلْ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى فَلْتُؤْثِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى Now you prefer the life of this world, although the hereafter is better and more lasting. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا You see this kind of restriction? Whereas the life of this world, إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ Except or only a deceiving enjoyment. All of this entire life. A person may be deceived by it a certain period of time. Then it will go away. And then he does not have anything of it. This is the word of this life. And therefore the firm person is the one who takes from it that which is beneficial for the everlasting one. Then Al-Imam Al-Bukhari Rahimahullah introduced the first hadith under this chapter and that is the hadith of Sahl radiyallahu anhu who said سمعت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول موضع صوت في الجنة خير من الدنيا وما فيها وَلَا غَدْوَةٌ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَوْ رَوْحَةٌ خَيْرٌ مِّنَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا He said, I heard the Prophet ﷺ saying, a small place equal to an area occupied by a whip in paradise is better than the whole world and whatever is in it. And an under, and an undertaking journey in the forenoon or in the afternoon for Allah's cause is better than the whole world and whatever is in it. This, uh, if the term as with the scene which we know of, meaning the whip, is the one which is affirmed in this hadith, then this, uh, you know, the, uh, this is like a stick one meter approximately. So the small place that it occupies in paradise is better than this entire life and what's in it, whatever is in it. It's not your life. It is not your life which you live and not the life lived by others during your lifetime. 
but rather the entire life from its beginning to the end and whatever it contains from wealth and properties and children and palaces and uh, ways of communications and mounts and cars and planes and you name it a place equal to the area occupied by a whip in paradise is better than the entire life from its beginning to its end and what it and whatever is in it and at the end of the hadith the Prophet ﷺ said وَلَغَدْوَةٌ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَوْ رَوْحَةٌ خَيْرٌ مِّنَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا The غدوة is the forenoon uh, stay and the روحة is the, uh, in the afternoon stay and here and an undertaking journey in the forenoon or in the afternoon for Allah's cause, meaning in the cause of jihad for the sake of Allah, then it is better than the whole world and whatever is in it, as explained earlier. This is the meaning of this hadith. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who put their concern and look forward for the hereafter and prepare for it that which is pleasing to Allah the Most High. When I say, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, and you take a look at Minna, when you take a look at the Rahmati, and to admit us to paradise by His mercy. Inna huwa al Jawadul Kareem, He is the most generous, the most noble. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.